జూలై నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ ఫోర్ స్టార్ట్ మిస్టర్ చైర్మన్ సార్ ఐ అగ్రీ విత్ ద ప్రీవియస్ స్పీకర్ దట్ వీఆర్ అండర్ ఎ హ్యాండిక్యాప్ వీ క్యాన్ స్పీక్ ఓన్లీ ఆన్ వన్ అకేషన్ ఆన్ ద అదర్ హ్యాండ్ దెర్ ఆర్ టూ అకేషన్స్ ఫార్ ద అదర్ హౌస్ టు డిస్కస్ ద బడ్జెట్ ఎనీ హౌ ఐ షెల్ ట్రై టు బి షార్ట్ ఇన్ మై స్పీచ్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్లేస్ ఐ విష్ టు పాయింట్ అవుట్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద డ్యూటీ of the members not only to criticize but also to praise the government where praise is due let me start by saying that the government deserve our congratulations since there is no taxation proposal in this year's budget i have seen three budgets i consider that this budget is one which makes a special statement of the sufferings of the people in the budget we see the statement that we have passed through many difficult periods during the seven years there is another confession that there is a rise in prices i congratulate the finance minister on making this frank statement he says that there are two main problems facing the country's economy today they are the rising trend in prices and the shortage of foreign exchange when i spoke on the governor's address i said that the government should take steps to bring down the prices there is no use of saying that we cannot do it or that there are special factors to be considered so long as the prices are not brought down the sufferings of the people will become greater and greater the next thing that i want to refer to is the seasonal conditions the finance minister has admitted that in most places there was less rainfall as a result it is said that production will go down there is no doubt about this not only the rains have not been adequate but in some places the crops have been affected by pests so the production will go down very much we cannot expect the production at the end of this year to be the same as it was in the previous year the government may say that the number of acres brought under cultivation has gone up but in spite of that on the whole production has gone down i wish to point out this thing to the government then in the case of agricultural land the income will not be the same year after year so far as the cooperative farming is concerned we find that it will be a success only if seasonal conditions are favorable if they are not good it will be a failure i would like to point out to the government that agricultural development cannot be the same in all the areas where there are industries we find that there is depletion of agricultural labor as a matter of fact if there is a heavy industry in place we find that in the surrounding villages the cultivable lands are neglected i am prepared to show the basis where such things are taking place today so i request the government to see that good fertile lands are not neglected the point i wish to make is that sufficient attention is not paid to land now the next point that i would like to deal with is the supply of agricultural implements we find that they are very costly but we can do one thing in regard to this matter i would like to suggest that there must be cooperative societies and through these societies government may hire out these implements at cheap rates then only 
the lands that are not now cultivated can be cultivated letter from ratna stores madras to mrs john and company madras dear sirs we are very glad to inform you that we have completed 10 years of useful service to our customers you will be pleased to know that we shall be celebrating our 10th anniversary on the 30th of this month on this occasion we have great pleasure to invite you and the members of your staff and seek your continued support as you know an important festival comes off towards the end of the month in order to meet the needs of the occasion we have received new stock of textile from leading mills we are sure that you will be pleased with them and that you will be able to make your selection with great satisfaction already a large number of people have started making purchases and we are very much happy about it in order to suit the convenience of our customers we have decided that our showroom should be kept open on sundays also in addition to this we will be giving free gifts on every purchase as you are one of our valued customers we are inclined to consider it our duty to inform you of this we look forward to your visit we shall be obliged if you make it convenient to visit our showroom at an early date so that you may have the pleasure of making your best choice yours faithfully stop